On the next page of our scrapbook, the place was Evanston, Illinois. The date was November 24th, which meant the last game of the season. An Illinois win over Northwestern was their ticket to the Rose Bowl. In the second quarter, Illinois was on the move. Johnny Karras, one of football's great runners, dashes 27 yards over left tackle to the Northwestern 22-yard line. After a series of plays moved the ball to the Northwestern 8-yard line, the Illinois drive was slowed down. They decided on a try for a field goal, and here is the play that sent the Illini to the Rose Bowl. And Rebecca's kick was good, but the partisan Northwestern crowd didn't seem too pleased. In the third quarter of this great defensive battle, Illinois' Bill Tate burst through the Northwestern line for 18 yards to the Wildcat file. The yardage was hard to get in this game. Northwestern took over, and on our slow motion cameras, Clarence Johnson makes a nice catch on a pass thrown by Bob Burson. Good for 11 yards. In the fourth quarter, Northwestern tried to get a drive rolling with this nine yard end run by Dick Alban. Coach Bob Voigt's Wildcats will be improved defensively during the coming season, and offensively it'll be the T formation with Bob Burson directing the attack. 1952 squad is solid in running, passing, and defense. And Northwestern waits the opening whistle to prove they're one of the toughest outfits in the Big Ten Conference. <laughs> 